wins is something we have to see. John Wilson, Chris Ross, Mario West, Cliff Hodge, and Reynald Hugnan, that's the last one to complete. It's a good one. Miranda, you're talking about the partner, but you're going to have to go to the party of Hinebra. Mahanas si Longhorn, hindi mga sabay, but they should get the rebound first, ano, bago makatakbo mukhang yun. Ang kanyang pop-up with it. So, kaya na, kailangan makakuha siya ng mga rebounds because you know that Japheth Aguilera will be one of the first guys down on the floor. That's the type of basketball na gusto ng Barangay Hinebra. Chris Ellis, maganda linaro niya ng first game nila. And you expect that, ano, na gusto buhay ng Barangay Hinebra knowing na isa sa kanila nga mga lakas. Kapag naglalaro sila, itong nga mga fans, gusto nila kagad buhay ng mga fans dito sa Boneta Asudo. Pabilis yung mga tako and Chris Ellis talis the first two points of the game. Reynal is posting up, opting to pass out in three points to the John Wilson Di Pumasok and Japet gets the level. LA Tenorio in that first game had 10 assists in that ball game. So, you know, mahirap din, ha? Para kay Coach Ato Agustin, na yung dalawang player mo, Japet and LA, who will be averaging a lot of minutes, hindi talaga nakapag-insayo. Nung nag-training yun, madami mga changes na nangyari dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Nagpalit nga ng coach before the start of the conference. So, medyo nagkagulo sila doon. Kaya naman lang nga, mga fans sa Barangay Hinebra, ika nga, kahit hindi umiscore ng malaki nun dito si Japet Aguilar, hopeful pa rin sila. Alam nila yung adjustment na gagawin. Ito nga si Japet with his new team. Although earlier, he was called for offensive foul. And L.A. Mario quickly tallies the three. You know, if you're Coach Ato Agustin and L.A. Tenorio, mas madali kahit hindi mo masyadong nakasama si L.A. at the preseason. Nakalaro na siya last conference. Plus, he's a point guard. He knows how to play. Alam niya na kung paano bibigyan ng bola itong sila Martin Diwa. It's actually a bigger adjustment for Japan coming into Barangay Nebra. When you talk about basketball, I do it. Yan ang mahirap ni Coach. Itong Coach L.A. Tenorio. See the revenge of a three. Ito naman si uh, Mario West sa uh, Fort Meralco. Hinebra naman pa rin po ng uh, dalawa sa ating pagsimula ng ating uh, first quarter. Mario West doesn't have the best looking shot in the entire world. Pero po nga pasok. Hindi kasama doon yung kanyang hair cut. Ha? <laughs> eh, parang parang sutin sa gitna din yung tira. <laughs> Ito si Mario West. This would be an interesting matchup, Dominic. L.A. Tenorio and Chris Ross. Napakit ko na ito sa dalawang larong magka-cover ko dito sa Meralco. I've seen how Chris Ross, yung kanyang talent, wala namang question, but his maturity in actually being the leader of this team, kita mo, andun na. Andun na talaga, you know, ever since na-trade itong si Sol Mercado, right off the bat, from game number one na nawala si Sol, nandun na si Chris Ross para saluhin, akuin yung leadership role for the Meralco Bolts. At ang makinis dyan sa ikang ginagawa ni Chris Ross, yung pagtapyas niya sa kanyang mga turnovers, ano yun, he's not ball hugging anymore, he's really looking. And uh, his teammates, but the ability to score is still there. Well, look at Chris Ross. One thing he really needs to improve on, yung attitude niya in attacking the basket or getting his points for himself naman. At, alam na natin na kaya niya mamasa. But something he'll need to improve on for him to better his package as a player, yung kanyang pagpili ng mga tira, kailan ba siya titira when he has to be more aggressive. Drop it with the cut, losing the ball. Pero ang last match ay si Omar U.S. na narinig siya muna na ng barangay. Hinebra, nakita mo yung pick and roll kanina ni Chapit at ni Mark Kagiwa. Parang hindi pa sila nagkakamaka. But Mark Kagiwa, when you talk about scoring, he's always tops. Oh, definitely. Mark Kagiwa is one guy na basta bigyan mo ng bola, makakapuntos yan. Kahit ano, kahit nasa. That time, nasa ilalim siya. He has the three. He has the penetration. At ito, makukuha pa ng barangay Hinebra. And they're running once again. Chris Ellis with the completion. A great pass by Mark Kagiwa. Nahanap niya itong si Chris Ellis. That's what they want. They want to be able to flex their muscles. And how do they flex it? Go to their strengths. Patakboyin mo itong si Chris Ellis. Patakboyin mo itong si Eli Tenorio. And even Japheth Tagalar in the open court. And you talk about familiarity. Chris Ellis and Mark Kagiwa. Kidatan lang yan. Sa pagtakbo nila. Kompleto na kagad ang kanilang fast break. And here's another opportunity for barangay Hinebra. Mark Kagiwa pinagdalawa. Narang bola man natitig sa Barangay Hinebra with the trap of Cliff Hodge and John Wilson. Ito po, ating na natin yung fast break na ito and the strong drive. Ito si Chris Ellis. Ito si Ingrid Aporto and empower your business. Meralco on the surge. John Wilson, kuman yun Andres. Wala, but Reynald Lugnatan as usual nandun. Reynald Lugnatan. 
Rebound. Kaliwa ang ginamit. Bumik. Kaliwa. Pinatira kanan. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. Kaliwa-kaliwa. Kaya itong nga uh, si uh, Rena Lugnado. Isa talaga sa mga gusto mo rin. Saka punan mo eh. Ay definitely a hard worker. But you know, if this uh, mapipilito lang kayo sa scoring, nandun itong si Rena Lugnado. Very tough inside itong si Rena Lugnado. Mario West on the attack. But dalawang agad ang uh, sumalubong sa kanya. And he was fouled. I think it would be Chris Ellis who will be the one to get the first chance that serves for Steve Pong for Monday Never. It's like a good partner when it's like a good guy. 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 Especially on the weekend. And like we've been talking about, we want to get out of it. It's like two of the coming of losses. Especially this Meralco Watts. It's hard to hit because they had the chance. Nandun, they had the play, they had the ball in the right guy's hands na kay Mario West. Dalawang beses, tumira siya. Same move, hindi lang pumasok. Same play, you know, at uh, all the confidence from the coaching uh, staff, nandun. But hindi naman sila nag, uh, nag-CCC na sa ginawa nila. Maganda yung kanilang uh, pag-execute. Pag Ayaw lang talaga pumasok. Here goes Dior Longhorn sa ilalim niya. Pero magandang double team sa kanya. Nakonsum siya dun na sa may baseline. Mario West once again on the attack of Patrick Aguilar. Sending that one to the Raptors. If there's one thing that Japet Aguilar improved on dun sa kanyang Gilas Pilipinas stint, yung kanyang paghabol sa mga tira. Because he's a lot more aggressive now trying to block the shots of the opposing team. At yung timing, napakahalaga nun. Alam niya, naapektuhan ng first line of defense yung kahit mas maliit. Iga nga, naapektuhan yung talo ni Mario West. So, kaya kaya niyang kabuli doon. But, John Wilson, John Wilson! Right? Kahit nandun si Jopet, harap-harapan, nilaya pa niya. Mark on top by one as L.A. Tenorio at Hamas. Pahira pa na tira yun para kay L.A. Tenorio. Barangay Hinebra with a 57% field goal clip so far. Ito, ilaw na sona ang binibigay ng barangay Hineba. John Wilson! Again, harapan si Jopet Aguilar! Hindi natatawin to. Sabi niya, medyo kong barangay din ako eh. Alam niya yan! 30-12, mga ating tala. 7 minutes and 5 seconds of first quarter. Bakit ang hamon Pilipinas? Hindi po tayo sa Cuneta Astro Dome. But long one! Big the long one! Sabi niya, hindi lang ako pampose. May tira din ako dyan. Kung nahihirapan siya sa loob, pag binabantay siya ni Reynal Lugnato so that time opted for that jump shot I was about to say that Cliff Hodge almost traveled but he actually did he did travel at ito po turnover pa boss ang kumpunan ng Barangay Hinebra at yung mga coaches relax pa lang maganda naman ang nilalaro ng magkabil ang kumpunan yung pag-iting na lang sa defense and some adjustment doon sa kanila mga half-court set especially for Barangay Hinebra Mark Gagiwa, hoping for the foul, walang nakuha. Cliff Hodge, dire-direcho, a strong move! That's a foul from Chris Ellis. Cliff Hodge going strong to the hoop. Nakita niya nandun si Chris Ellis. Sinigurado niyang hindi makakahabol. At that time, mukhang natamaan itong si John Wilson. Kita mo how he cut through that space. Kumbaga yung pwedeng pagtalunan or paggalingan nung timing ni Chris Ellis kinat na yon para hindi na makasabay well alam mo itong uh, si Cliff Hodge maagang nagsimula ito na maraming nakatingin baka maging uh, rookie of the year itong uh, si Cliff Hodge in, in fact uh, baka uh, napipili na baka nasa uh, one or two or three itong uh, well hindi nangyari yun but sa kanyang pagpasok dito sa Miral ko ang ganda nung kanyang impact though in this conference a bit affected dahil isa sa mga trabaho niya Input ang banda yan. Well, Cliff Hodge, kaya magandang pinakita niya in his first conference. Kasi Olfintino yun. Correct. In the second and the third, mag-iiba yung laro niya because he is the type of a player na pwedeng bumantay sa input. But this time, si Japet Aguilar ang kanyang binabantayan. As L.A. Tenorio is scanning the floor. Nakakita itong si Dior Longhorn. May double team na naman sa kanya. Automatic yung double team. At talagang na-affect point siya ng kanyang defense sa kanya. Chris Ross on the attack. Wala. Taluan niya Meralco ang nandun for the offensive rebound. Cliff Hodge was hoping for the contact. Pero lumabas yung boy doon. So ang barangay, Hinebra, tatawag po ng timeout. They're down by 1.15 to 14. Patuloy po ang bakbakan ng Meralco at Barangay Hinebra dito po sa Cuneta Astrodome. And Dome, we're talking about Dior Longhorn. Yung pag-atake niya sa loob, 
automatic yung double team sa kanya and he's affected so much. Well, definitely, magandang ginagawa nitong si Daniel Hutata. At yung pagtulog ni Cliff Hodge, nahihirapan talaga si Lockhart only with two points and that a jumper at that. Ito naman si Mark Aguiwa ang atake. This guy can be created and create a lot of opportunities for his team that time. Tapno ang nilang pasan ni Mark Aguiwa. And he still manages to score the two. Mario West saved there, pero nawala yung ball run. Isa sa mga pinakamalaking bagay dito kay Mark Aguiwa. Once he scores, the crowd gets into it. Ang mga kadyan, at sunod-sunod na yan. Kaya na yan ang pinapakita. But your Longhorn, napag-usapan. Wala ba akong lakas sa loob? Meron. Ito ha, bakit niya nga pinapakita dito after giving the pick. He rolled and scored the two after the contact. Galing kay Cliff Hodge. Adjustment for Barangay Ginebra. Instead of giving it to him on the post, ginawa nila, nag-pick and roll sila ni Eli Tenorio para yung depensa mapipilitang humelt muna kay Eli bago pumunta dito kay Dior Lohard. Meaning, ang yung sinasabi ni Coach Ato dyan, Huwag mo ilalagay yung sarili mo sa pwesto kung wala ka ng option. Lalo na dito sa may baseline dito, kapag nag-double team na, wala na talagang uh, mapuntaan. Ito nga si Dior Longhorn. Ginebra up by three this time. With 4 minutes and 58. Offensive foul lang nakita na natin. Yeah. That would be on Chris Ross, his second personal foul. And Chris Ross is definitely not happy with that one. Ito yun, eh, yun. may tulak talaga kay uh, Dior Long on 2-3 up Ray na loob natin Kamatala, ito ha, Long on nakakuha na naman, tutukan not with much being denied from him 6 points now for the Barangay Hinebra import Amantala, ito si Mario West. Out of Chris Ross. Chris Ross, no line bola. So, the junior announced the first shot. The junior announced the first shot. Chris Ross. Mapalit ang dunya dahil sa kanyang dalawa na personal fouls. Mga Haas will come in. J.R. Reyes at the same time. Papasok para dito kay Cliff Hodge. But Chris Ross still down. Four minutes and twenty remaining. Ika ika po itong si Chris Ross after that crash that he had. Ayo, pagpag sa mga kini. So ang tumama jan yung harap ng pigi mo, may cuma sakit na. Oh, masakit na yun. Yung tumurun. Chris Ross, very tough basketball player. Expect him to be back. Pakailangan lang yelo lang. At ko doon sa himas-himas, medyo kailangan masamasahin. Mainit yun eh. Yung pagbagsak ng, uh, ng uh, pigi mo sa unahan. Samantala, mga haas. Uy, bagong pasok. Dalawang puntos ka agad. Knowing very well, napaubos na yung kanilang shot clock. Well, that's a good sign. When you have a guy like mga haas coming into the ball game, na hindi naman naasa na pamasok sa agad just because of an injury, then he knows the shot clock. Ito po, ha, nga ating tala, Barangay Neba, lamang pa rin ng uh, tatlong puntos, 22-17. With 4 minutes and 7 seconds, Summer Nice Basketball. At uh, hindi lang po basketball, ha, yun yung mapapanood dito sa Sports 5. Uh, mga hard-hitting MMA action sa PXC 13. Yun yung po rin uh, panoorin niya, naharapin ni Mark Mugens Rigel, si The Beast, Jang Yong Kim, para mga sa featherweight title sa September 14, 8 p.m. po yan sa Inar Sports Arena sa Pasig. Buy your tickets now. Mapapanood din, of course, Action TV sa September 15 at 9 p.m. Rado, pinag-uusapan natin kanina yung mainit na shooting nitong Barangay Hinebra. Ngayon, uminit pa mas lalo. 70% from the field itong Barangay Hinebra. Tamatala. Namit yung pick nitong si Lohorn. At uh, may foul ka na nakikita doon ito uh, si uh, J.R. Reyes. Una pa lamang ito ni J.R. Reyes. Nakakapasok din lang po sa lineup na kumpuna ng uh, Meralgo. That's the four minutes to go here in the first quarter. L.A. Tenorio. Well, he might, he might not have scored in the... In double digits in the first game. Pero yung kanyang assist, the leadership in uh, L.A. Tenorio 
Talagang experience niya sa Gilas. Translated na translated dito eh. No? Napakaganda nung uh, experience sa Gilas because there are a lot of players na pwede niyang pasahan. So magagawa din niya dito yan sa Barangay Henero but they will want L.A. Tenorio to score. And the confidence of the L.A. Tenorio which is enjoying and nung uh, Barangay Henero Kings inakap na siya hindi lamang ng mga fans kundi na niya pupunan na ito. Prado ko mahalala Ang mga laro niya, pasa lang siya ng pasa. But there were games nung na-injure itong si Marco Guilla, he took over, na-injure itong si JJ Helterband. So now he's comfortable doing a number of things. He feels that he is part of this Barangay Hinebra squad. Parang kaya, kinawalaan itong nga si Mario West, pero may isa pa ng jumper. Ray Olof Natas, yun naman ang nandun, and the pass to John West, ang kinaluwa mintes. Back para kaya with the rebound, tumatakbo ang kumunan ng Barangay Hinebra. They go to Longhorn at the low post against JRAS. Nakumpun na naman. So, tres ito. For Mark Kagiwa Mendez. And the rebound goes to Mahas. Mario West sa kanyang nakakita. At mamadali. May bump at may foul. Ito pong si L.A. Tenorio. Again, that time, yung kumpensa ng Barangay Hinebra. Pinoste nila itong si Longhorn. Was not successful. Though he got that pass up, hindi siya makakuha ng putos. Well, para ito naman po ang tatawag ng timeout. Babalik po kami kagad. Nagpapalik po tayo dito sa Coneta Astrodome sa pagpapatuloy po ang uh, Sabado Nights Basketball at Barangay Hinebra nakakalimang po ngayon ng 7 puntos 24 to 17 actually the biggest lead para sa kupunan ng uh, Barangay Hinebra nakikita nyo naman po ang numero ni LA double digit scoring first quarter pa lang halos tatlong minuto pa po ang uh, natitira dito unlike nung kanilang uh, unang uh, Laban at sa kapunan ng uh, Petron, aba, ay uh, 9 points na mga naitala itong uh, si L.A. Tenorio. Lampas na, first quarter pa lang. Oh, oh, oh. Si Japan, gusto rin niya kumayad sa scoring head. But Lohorn, diba? Ang uh, tumitikado sa malalayo, yun na pumapasok para dito kay Lohorn. Oh, maganda dito kay Lohorn. Nahirapan siya kanina sa loob. So ngayon, linalabas niya yung dumitipensa sa kanya. He's been effective so far hitting the outside shots. And he's doing the pick and roll with L.A. Tenorio. May rebound pa itong si Lohorn at tumatakbo ang barangay. He never, J.J. Helterbrand now at the point. Nasama ito si Michael Gio. But Lohorn filling it from outside. Missing that one though. Agawa ng bola makukuha ni J.R. Reyes. He goes sa mga haas. Mga haas nakita sa kanan. Sunday for the three. Oh, ay lamabas pa. But Jarius was there for the rebound and foul. Ang itatawag naman laban dito kay Mark Kagiwa. Eli Tenorio. Pinusapan natin. Sampung puntos na nga siya. Dito sa first quarter pa lang. He hasn't missed from the field. His only miss came from the free throw line. Well, tama ka dyan. At maganda ka mga dyan itong LA. Coach Ato, realizing that, pahinga ka muna sapagkat uh, susubukan muna natin ang ating uh, ibang uh, mga kakampi dyan. Josh Orbistoto, handa na rin pumasok para sa kupunan ng Barangay Hinebra. But at this point, J.J. Heltribad ang nasa point guard position. Barangay going to Mac Barangayal, missing it. And Sunday Salvation, siya naman nakukuha ng rebound for Meralco. Kamatala, eh, ito ah. Noy, Baklao. Intes ang uh, kanyang tira. Si Noy Baklao, anong, uh, well, if I remember, nung first two games, halos hindi na pasok itong uh, si Noy Baklao. But Coach uh, Ryan Gregorio is not very happy with his lineup right now. Sabi niya, paglimahan, maaaring mahina kami. Pag labing dalawahan o home team, aba, wala problema. Walang kaproble-problema. Jopet Aguilar! Ang lakas ng galaw na yun. Nandun na si JR, sumabit na. Pero hindi, hindi inita ito si Jopet Aguilar. And if you look at yung extension, yung lakas ng dating, yung taas ng talon ni Jopet, kita mo hanggang saan lang umabot si JR Reyes. Nakita mo rin yung split second na delay dun. Halos hindi nakakita. Jopet Aguilar almost missing that pass. Pero nagawa pa rin niya ng uh, Brian. Missing the bonus free throw. At mapupunta pa sa barangay ang wala. Well, dala na rin niya ng athletic ability nitong si Jopet Aguilar. He, he didn't react as quick as they wanted him to do. Pero sobrang athletic niya. Nahabol niya. Haba kasi talaga eh. No? Sa era niya na nakita yung uh, bola. And uh, yung pick and roll. Medyo delay. Pero nagawa pa rin po ng uh, Brian. Samantala itong inbound play. Josh Orbistondo at J.J. Helterbrand nagkidnatan lang pero natapik ni Chris Ross na gaya na gina-anticipate natin we'll, we'll be back at the floor Papare Guevara 
Ang ipapasok ni Coach Ryan, ilalabas mo na si Jaya Reyes. But Javit Aguilar, once more free. Mitis ang kanyang tira, Baklaw with the rebound. Mario West. And then the penetration move. Almost uh, double dribble. Lalo na sisigawan yung mga pass. 12 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Mario West once again. Ang taka dito ka sa harap po, losing the ball. Chris Ross! Defense by Barangay, hindi ang bra talagang uh, iniiba ang offensive pattern nitong Meralgo. Well, very good defense and at the same time, very good offense for Barangay. He never scored 28 points. Kaya naman, nagmadali na ang Meralgo doon sa kanilang huling attempt niya. Sa pagkatatlong segundo na lamang, natitira sa kalong 24 second shot clock. JJ with the bomb in this! And rebound in Oibakla, foul kay Orbis Tondo, but JJ Helterbrand is down. Mukhang natapilok, mukhang may nakapakan. Mukhang ganun nga nangyari, and of course, ito ay si JJ Helterbrand, isa yan sa mga palimit na injure sa kanya, sa katulinan nito. But that time, mukhang yung pag-apak sa paa. Ang pagtira niya nung uh, tirang yun, mukhang may nabagsakan siya. Well, tingnan natin, ang nasa harapan niya is Mario West, yun na nga. Tama ang ating uh, suspecha ron. Ang uh, paa ni Mario West. Ang uh, landingan. Ha? Ito yung uh, si J.J. Helterbrand. This is a 9-point lead for Barangay Hinebra. Maganda po ang kanilang simula dito sa first quarter. With only 15 seconds to go. Chris Ross seeing 9 seconds ang lang shot clock will make the move. Going to Mario West. May tira sa labas. Ang kanyang at orthodox uh, outside shot may test. Two seconds to go. Ibinigay pa. Mark Marquez. Ako hindi naabutin ito kahit uh, pumasok yung kanyang tira. So, natapos po ang ating uh, first quarter. Lapag ng siyam. Itong gawin po na ng Barangay Nebra 28-19. Dirty si Puyan. Nakapagagandang uh, paglalaro. Ito kaya si L.A. Tinori. Who had 10 points in the first quarter. Mark Kagiwa. Who started it all for Barangay Nebra. And of course, Lohorn. Hindi po sa Lopez gumagalaw ito. Sa labas pumapasok ang kanyang mga tira 28